Bye, have a great time. ADR, this is Kane Black. And I have always advocated in both my personal life and my YouTube persona that violence must be the last answer and it has to be justified. But why? It's because once you engage in an act of violence, you cross a point of no return. There's no coming back from that. Once you commit violence, that is not where it ends. That is not all there is. That action reverberates and reaches beyond you and your target. People don't often forget and move on after being a victim if they're still alive. Sometimes actions carry with them a long memory and this is what many of us fail to remember before we act. And it may take a very long time and may not even come from the, the original victim but things have a way of boomeranging in this life and it can come back to you when you least expect it. Sometimes it can even spread multiple generations. Have you ever heard the phrase paying for the sins of the father? For those who haven't, it basically boils down to paying the consequences for something a family member has done in the past. Then when you have someone whose pride or ego is hurt that they are willing to risk it all for revenge over something that in the big picture wasn't a big deal. But my point here is, when it can't be helped, violence should be the last answer to a given situation. But if it's a split second situation that couldn't have been resolved without you yourself losing your life, then you just have to be prepared for any, for any blowback by those in the know and you just have to stay tight-lipped. No one has to know about anything that you've done that weren't there. There are many people in the penitentiary today because they had the urge to share what they did for recognition. Violence should never be trivialized. It can be effective, but it can also haunt for a lifetime.